everybody my name is Alex in this video we're gonna check the plot speed for my GTX 1070 Ti uh, this little card has been plotting away for what seems like forever so we're gonna jump into Zulu here and we are going to see what we have going on so let's tmux attach dash T smash and we are at file 65 of probably 127. So we're almost halfway through. It's a little toasty, 82 degrees. Uh, this one's running in my bedroom. It, it runs pretty quiet, but I guess it is a little warm in there. But I've noticed that all of these GTX 1070s run pretty warm. These are the Founders Edition ones with just a single fan. They don't push a lot of air. This one I recently just completely cleaned, put all new thermal paste, pads, everything on. So it has no excuse for being 82 degrees other than the fact that it is just not a great cooler. It doesn't push a lot of air. But it also runs a pretty low wattage and it does okay. But let's see exactly where we're at with this GPU. So we are going to use a super cool tool by Xanarite and they are making some awesome tools to generate these plots, run multi-GPU, um, even set up I believe like nodes and stuff. There's a lot of really cool things that they're doing. I will put a link to the GitHub repo. I talk about this in all of my speed test videos that I'm making. And this is a tool that I'm going to continue to use as I smash. So let me um, just overview real quick of the GitHub here. It's so easy to install. You really just need Python. You're, you're going to clone the repo, go into the directory that you need, and then you're just going to run using Python, the Python script with your directory. And then I always like to report it's optional. You don't have to report your speed if you know, you're know you a very privacy conscious person. You don't have to report your speed. I always report my speed because I want everybody to be able to use the data that I submit to make a decision on what card they want to use when they smash. So no harm if you don't want to. Just something that I like to do. Let's jump back to the command line here drop back into the home directory and let me make sure I have git. I always feel like I don't install it, but it might even come with Ubuntu. So who knows? Next step, we're going, oops, I definitely clicked the wrong button there. Okay, let's clone this repo. Let's get into, that is not what it's called. There we go. Um, like I said before, there's two separate tools here. We're going to do the plot speed. And I believe I need to sudo here. So um, we'll do Python 3, which is what I have. Then I'm going to do... Uh, what is it called? Smash, there we go. Smasher plot speed dot pi. And then I know that I am in the media Zulu and then the UUID for this NVMe drive. And I'm gonna do the dash dash report because I wanna send my data up. If you just do it, run it regular like this, it'll work. I'll run it again in a second here, but let's look at the results. Whew. Okay, so we are at 34 percent this poor gpu has been cranking away at 384 gigabytes gigabytes whatever the gib uh <laughs> where it is i've got another three days for this thing to be going so it is going to be a ride for this card it's doing great um i don't know what else to say besides this thing will probably easily crank this plot out for another three days. It, it's low wattage, so I'm not too worried about the power draw. It doesn't generate a lot of heat. I am in a warm climate, so it is 
not always the best to have hot GPUs. Uh, but 0.8 megabits uh, per second. So, I mean, in comparison, I just did this for a 3070 and I was at 2.5 megabits, megabits, bytes. Uh, I really need to get down the the naming for all this stuff uh, so I don't look like I have no idea what I'm talking about. I have some idea of what I'm talking about, uh, but megabytes, megabits, megabytes, like there's so many different naming conventions. I feel like it's just a cruel joke that they're playing on us anyways. Um, so yeah, not great. Let's run this again, but I'm going to send it up just so everybody knows what they're getting into if they run a 1070. And this is the TI. I thought, honestly, the TI, I'd be getting close to one uh, megabit per second, but that's not that's not the case. So let's actually check out the latest real quick before I end this video. Mine should be the top one here. Yes, it is. And I don't know how I open that up. So we've got actually a pretty good comparison here. Uh, we got a 3080 Ti doing 3.82, 3.85. We've got a 3070 doing 2.5. That's mine. And then we have a 1070 Ti doing 0.8. Um, so it really does pay off to, to have a better, a better card because we'd have to run what four of or three of these three of these at about 100 watts i mean probably averaging around 110 120 watts out of this maybe even more out of the 1070 ti which would put us you know at around 360 like almost 400 watts like we're talking 3080 territory for just under what a 3070 would do so right now it is really looking like the better GPUs are going to have a significant advantage, which of course, I mean, they're newer GPUs, they are probably way more efficient and they're way more powerful, but I would say it's still worth it if you have a 1070 Ti just to crank out a 256 gigabyte plot and join the network. I mean, you're gonna get rewards, it's gonna be fun, and there's not really a downside if you can afford the little bit of extra cost in power while you make these plots. And you can always make more plots after the first one if you're really enjoying it. You just have to run a new node. Um, there'll be some videos on that as well. So if you're looking to get in quick, and by quick I mean it's probably going to take you three or four days with a 1070, you might as well get started now. Uh, but that will conclude this video, and I've got a few more GPUs I'm going to do videos on. Uh, this is always really interesting seeing where they post on this board and uh, you know I'll keep uploading these. Feel free to like and subscribe if you like the content and I'll see you later.